Now, creation of APSOC, uh, Ahlul Bayt societies in, in universities, if it does not actually lead to clashes and sort of dispute with Islamic societies, it's not a bad thing. I mean, because you have certain things you want to do, they do not agree. They have certain things they want to do, you know, right? But if you tr stop, start to oppose each other and somehow uh, become a sort of friction uh, uh, stone for each other, that's not good. The best practice is what you mentioned, that there is one Islamic society uh, with respect for both parties, for, for both sects, Shia and Sunni. But if that is not possible, then APSOC, Islamic society, but cooperating with each other, why should they fight with each other? They, they can cooperate with each other because they, are, they have different views of Islam, but they can cooperate on certain things. The meaning of unity, which actually Imam Khomeini rahmatullah alayhi, was very, uh, very much promoting, was based on the idea that we cannot be one. I mean, if, if you are one, there is no meaning for unity, isn't it? You are one, there is uh, there's no uh, difference. Is that we are different and we keep our differences but we respect each other and we unite on those uh, targets and aims which we are actually holding together in common. This is the meaning of unity. And if we keep this in mind, inshallah, uh, we would not uh, uh, somehow be leading ourselves to destruction and corruption.